that 127 crores people of this country and Indian Armed Forces deserves the credit of surgical strike. And your contribution is 1 by 127 crores in this surgical strike. So I think uh, with this, the media at least should be very clear about where the credit lies. So a country which does not make itself capable of waging a war basically is a country which suffers the very thing which it does not want, and that is war, was uh, forced on it through various means. And terrorism is one issue which I consider as a proxy war carried out by non-state actor, almost like a covert operation. And therefore, we should strengthen ourselves to a level where no one dares challenge us for conventional or non-conventional war. I think that should be the basic concept of doctrine for which we need to prepare ourselves, we have to strengthen our... Uh, everything matters. Uh, soldiers' confidence, uh, confidence in the armed forces, confidence among people of the country, to their capabilities in terms of ammunition, arms, equipments and latest technology. These are all aspects which needs to be taken care of. This government has acted on all fronts, in spite of all odds. Defence acquisitions were virtually in spin. I'm proud to say that uh, after this government came and I became Defence Minister in about five months' time, I'll be completing two years in the November, we have signed contracts which are almost worth 2,50,000 crores. And by the financial year end, or before this government turns three years old, should be anywhere up to exceeding 3 lakh crores, thereby ensuring that in coming months and coming years, the capabilities are improved to a level where no one can take us lightly.